Welcome back to a new video. Today I'll show you how to create and handle multiple isolated Firefox profiles. If you use the Firefox "-p command, you can launch different profiles, but this is not all I'm using here. In this terminal, I launched the Firefox profile runner script, and a window with a list of different profiles is shown on screen. Later in the video, I'll show you what these profiles correspond to. I then select the personal profile and Firefox prompts me to create a new browser profile. As you can see, no other profiles are present in this list. So, I create a Firefox profile called personal and a new Firefox window pops up. The first thing I do is to change the browser theme to visually distinguish it from others. Now I'll change an option in the configuration file to avoid showing some message windows. Let's create the work profile in the same way as before. Notice that in the window called Choose User Profile, created by Firefox, you can see a personal profile I set up earlier. My script, in fact, uses FireJail, a powerful sandbox capable of isolating the file system, the network, the computer's devices, and much more. In this case, FireJail launches Firefox with a private option, among others. This means that the current Firefox process is unable to read the other files from the user's home directory, except the specified ones. I find this convenient both for privacy and for the downloaded files which go in separate directories, one for each profile. My script is able to display either a full list or a completion list of Firefox FireJail profiles. The full list is suited if you have a few profiles. If the number of profiles start to grow, it's better to use the completion list. In this case, you need to type the first letter of a profile to get a sublist. You can then select the desired profile. Here I selected a profile without the isolated home option. That's why you can see the default Firefox profiles. For simplicity, you can set up hotkeys to quickly run the menu. Here I'm using Ctrl, Shift and Z because it is a virtual machine and I don't want to interfere with the host. As an alternative to hotkeys and if you like using the mouse more, you can of course create a traditional launcher on your desktop with the same command used in the terminal. What we have here are the directories for the virtual homes managed by FireJail. Now I'll download a PDF file and show you that it is saved in the work directory. To keep things simple, you can create a base directory in your home where all your Firefox profiles will lie. Let's see how the YAML configuration file is structured. First of all, you can define the path of the two binaries. If you use a flatpak package, for example, you must fix these paths. You can also decide whether to show or hide the status messages. 
Personally, I keep the error messages active to detect typos in the configuration, for example, while I disable the other two. By setting the profile list type value, you can decide whether to show a normal list or an autocomplete one, as we've seen before. Here we see the personal profile with several important options. In these profiles, you can use the whole range of Firefox and FireZill options, one for each line. To set a private home, there is a private option, while to set the DNS server, you can use the DNS option. For the server profile, however, I disabled the network access and added a whitelisted directory. Personally, I am using nearly 50 different Firefox FireZill profiles. Some of them are used for a single web app only. This way you can, for example, save the credentials in the browser profile without being afraid of leaks on other websites. Now we'll see how to install the script dependencies before running it. I'd assume you are using Debian 12, but you can find these packages on most GNU Linux distributions. First of all, install Firefox ESR, FireGel, YAD, Python YAML, Python 3, FPIU Sills. You also need to install Python YAD from pip. To close this video, you find the link to the script and to the configuration file in the description. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Bye bye!